we're going to talk a little bit about motif fills today. And here's one way, kind of a fun way to use a motif fill underneath a monogram. Um, here's a very simple heart motif fill as well. Let's talk about a couple different ways that we can use these. We can use them as a knockdown stitch on something that has a uh, thick ply to it, like a blanket or a towel. We can use it just to be cute and fun in a design, in an embroidery design that has multiple um, colors and shapes. Or um, we can just use it just uh, to be creative in different ways to add just a little touch of flair to outfits or um, any other item that you like to embroider. Let's go to a new page and start a brand new one. I'm going to just grab a shape from the shape library. Let's go down and let's grab a square. Let's make it a little larger so it's easier to work with. I'm going to hold my shift button when I um, enlarge it so it stays right in the middle. Okay, then the button up here under your stitch buttons there's a motif fill. So let's hit that. Now this is going to have my previous motifs in here that I was playing with. So we're gonna get rid of all the ones I had in there and start from blank. So if you do a motif fill and you have no motif selected you're just gonna see these lines through it but we want to add a motif. So let's go to the Add button and you will have your motifs all come up. Um, you can look at them by category or if you just start at the top category it's going to work through all of them as well. So motifs. We're working with a square so what do we want to put in there? Hmm. Let's look at the cross stitches. How about if we make it a little Valentine's y and we put in some arrows? But let's add some hearts too. Arrows and hearts to make it kind of Valentine's like. So you can add more than one design, more than one motif in there. But that looks kind of fun and Valentine's like. Um, if we click on the cross stitch of the arrows, we can see that there are 11.8 inches high and 11.9 inches wide. Why don't we make those um, 13 and 13 1? Just so we can see what happens there. Let's make them a little larger. And the hearts, they're 7 and 7.1. Let's make them. 10 and 10.1 so you can change the sizes you can also add gap so if you click the gap button you get a little sliding scale and we can just add a little gap in between them all um, just makes a little a little different rotation we could just rotate it a little bit kind of fun that way that rotates just the heart and then we could rotate this, the arrows as well. There's just a lot of different things that you can do. I'm not sure I like that rotation on the arrows. Hearts are kind of fun that way. So now if I click off it to unhighlight it, you can see there's no real defined edges around. You got a little edge here, but that one seems a little too defined. Okay, so you got a, a little bit of defined here, a little bit here, but really there's no good defined line around it. I like to create a frame around it. So to do that, I have a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command C and Command V, and that's going to make a, a copy and paste. I'm going to take the one I pasted, the second one, and I'm going to turn that into a bean stitch. Um, I just like the finished frame look when there's a complete line around it. Now you can see here on this design, 
I added a satin stitch around it, stitch around it. I think it looks really pretty underneath of monogram. And this one here, you can see we have no real defined line around the entire thing. But that is a basic tutorial on how to create a motif fill. And that was a question we had from Harriet. And I hope that helps and clears things up a little bit.